So if you want to learn how to be unhealthy and out of shape, then this is the video for you. I know this video may ruffle some feathers, but I promise you that it's made with the best of intentions. The message is very relevant and that's based on 15 years in the fitness industry and training thousands and thousands of clients. And if you don't know me, my name is Matt Benvy. Together with my twin brother, Mitch, I own Evolve Fitness. We have four locations in Halifax, Bedford, Elmsdale, and Dartmouth. We also own a collaborative health clinic called Evolve Integrated Health. So be sure to check us out. Now in the meantime, I'm gonna teach you exactly how to be unhealthy and out of shape. Now, if you know anything about Alex Ramosi or Charlie Munger, then you'll see that this video is inspired by them and their way of thinking. Charlie believes in something called inversion thinking, where you solve your problems in reverse. His thing was how to live a miserable life, and then Alex turned it into how to be broke. Here is an example. Instead of saying how to have a great marriage, you would say how to have a terrible marriage. Then you would list all of the things you would need to do in order to have a terrible marriage. You might list things like cheat on your partner, come home late every night, don't say I love you ever. Great, now we put inversion thinking into place and you do the exact opposite of those things. You never cheat, you always come home on time and you tell your partner you love them every single day. Now, why does this way of thinking work so well? It's just human nature that we're really good at finding the problems first instead of seeing the solution. Sure, we could do a bunch of internal work, get some counseling and learn how to find the solutions first, but why not just harness the power that we already have to find the problems first and then just do the exact opposite. Now, if you're down with that way of thinking and how easy it is, then let me tell you exactly how to be unhealthy and out of shape. And then I'll break down the exact opposite things that you can do so that you can have your healthiest and fittest years ahead. Now, buckle up, take some notes because this could be the video that really helps you get your mindset right for getting your health and fitness on track. Now, before we start, make sure that you watch all the way at the end because the really obvious ones are at the end, but the one we need the most kick in the butt with are at the top. Number one, the first thing that you need to do to be unhealthy and out of shape is to start tomorrow or start on Monday. Starting tomorrow is the perfect mindset to have to ensure that you never get started. Now the inversion thinking for that is going to be that you're gonna start right away. You're gonna to start today and you're gonna start taking action on your goals. It does not have to be perfect to start, but you have to get started to be perfect eventually. Number two, brag about reading 52 books a year and all of the things you learn, but never apply it to anything in your life. Instead of consuming a ton of information that can be very overwhelming and learning too many things, try reading just one book, maybe reading it multiple times, consuming the information and taking action on the things that you've learned. If you read Atomic Habits, if you then read The Morning Miracle, if you then read another book about your morning routine, that's just gonna to be too much information to be able to truly take action on things that are gonna be meaningful to your goals. Number three, take advice from people who are unhealthy and out of shape about your health and fitness goals. Many times we are surrounded by people who aren't qualified to give us advice, but love to tell us what we should be doing. And then we listen to their judgment when they tell us our plan is all wrong, when really they've just given up on their health and fitness related goals and we should not be listening to them. Instead, surround yourself with people where your desired behavior is the normal behavior for them. Surround yourself with people who have similar goals and very positive people that lift you up instead of tear you down. Hire a coach if you can, but also you can take advice from people who have been there, done that, and have helped people in similar situations as you. Number four, pick a spouse who will make you feel guilty about chasing your big goals and dreams. And this goes for health and fitness, but also all areas of your life. You have your dreams and your goals, and this person is telling you that you either need to do nothing or you need to do something else. Then you feel like you need to compromise your dreams for that person. The problem with this is that you're putting the power of your destiny in their hands and instead of asking for support, you're actually having to ask for permission. And then if you reach your goals in spite of them, who do you think you're gonna resent? Instead, pick a spouse that supports you no matter what your goals are and always has your back. Pick someone who's never gonna make you feel guilty for chasing your dreams. And if they don't support something that makes you healthier and happier, they just gotta go. Number five, fail once and quit forever. Pick a program, fail and think, oh, okay, this healthy thing just isn't for me. Instead, Never quit forever. Instead of viewing failure as a bad thing, view it as a necessary step for long-term success. Take what you've learned from your failures and apply them in the future. Do that over and over until you find the program and the plan that works for you and makes you feel awesome. Number five, think that the world is fair and blame your circumstances for your lack of success. Now, many of us have things in our lives and circumstances that are well beyond our control. 
But the harsh reality is that most things that are related to our progress are well within our control. There are always people that started with much less than we have that are making a lot more progress than we are. Instead, realize that complaining is not going to do anything positive for you and your goals. There is no activity and there is no progress that comes from blaming your circumstances. And assume that the world is unfair and act accordingly. Number seven, expect other things or other people to come and save you. Instead, realizing that no one is coming to save you and the only one that can help you with your goals is the person that's looking in the mirror. Number eight, value other people's opinion more than your own. Instead, understand that you are successful the moment that you say you are. Ignore what other people say and think and just listen to yourself. Number nine, avoid discomfort. It's a very uncomfortable feeling when you start a new thing because naturally you're gonna be a beginner and you're not gonna be very good at it. So we avoid these things to make sure that we don't go through those feelings. Instead, get uncomfortable as often as you can. We all know the saying that all of the progress and all of our goals on the, are, the, are on the other side of your comfort zone. And that is very true. Realize that, of course, you are not going to be good at something the first time. And everyone around you has had that same feeling at one point or another. Embrace the fact that you're not going to be very good at first. Get consistent with your habits and then enjoy the journey along the way. You'll be an expert eventually. Number 10, tolerate mediocrity from yourself and others. Instead, do not accept mediocrity. Hold yourself to a high standard and expect the same from others around you. If you hired a coach, you would not expect them to be mediocre. Expect the best of the best, which is exactly what you deserve. But if you tolerate mediocrity with yourself and those around you, then the level is just gonna go down and down. Number 11, make promises and break promises with others and with yourself. Breaking promises with others is going to impact relationships and it's gonna help you lose respect with others. The same goes for yourself and your relationship with yourself is by far the most important. Instead, we've got two parts. Only make promises you are confident you can keep and then make a promise and keep it no matter what. Number 12, wait for the perfect conditions to start. Instead, just start with where you are and what you've got right now. I would actually argue that it's better to start in hectic and busy times and have some level of success because eventually you won't be as busy. And if you can have some success when you're as busy as you get, then imagine how much you can have success you can have when you're on top of things and you have more time. There will always be vacations, there will always be holidays, there will always be obstacles. So if you're waiting for the perfect time, you're just really never going to start. Number 13, prioritize looking healthy and being in shape rather than prioritizing actually being healthy and in shape. Instead, remind yourself that you respect the approval of yourself over others. Make being healthy and in shape the priority and then align your habits and your daily actions with actually being healthy instead of just looking healthy. Number 14, talk more, do less. Post about all of your goals, all of your affirmations, all of the things you're gonna do, and then don't do it. Instead, do more. Talk as much as you want, but always come through and do the things that you said you were going to do. I do believe in sharing. I do believe in getting as much accountability as you can. So do as much of that as you want. Just make sure that in the background, you're doing the things that you said you were gonna do. Number 15, start something new today, start something new tomorrow, and then repeat. Too often we get shiny object syndrome and we abandon a perfectly great plan in search of something that we think is going to be better. It's a fast track if you're always switching up programs to never really get the results that you desire. Instead, start something, be ruthless with your consistency, and stick with it for a very long period of time. Success will follow. Number 16, believe what other people think about you more than what you think about yourself. The world truly is full of both haters and naysayers, and they're out there dragging other people down with the sad reality that that's because they've just given up on their own goals. Instead, ignore all of the voices around you, focus on your own journey, and remember that you are a success, again, the moment that you tell yourself you are. Number 17, make a mistake, then wait a little bit, and then make the same mistake again. This one is common for our health. We all have a go-to program that we go to when we need a little kick and think that this is the program that works for us but really does it work for us if we're having to come back to it over and over. Instead, make a mistake and learn from it. Use it to your advantage. Some of the things from the program may work, some of it may not work. Take that information and bring it forward with your goals for next time. Number 18, find something that works and then stop doing it. Instead, just keep doing it. It's simple, but it's not easy. You have to be able to recognize what is working, and what's making you feel good, and then continue to build those habits over very long periods of time. Number 19, hire unqualified people to help you. 
This is an excellent way to waste a lot of time and money. Instead, hire an expert if you have the means, and if not, seek guidance from those around you who have been there, done that, or have helped others like you reach similar goals. Down the time it takes to reach your goals, and the process will be a lot smoother than if you take advice from an amateur or somebody has no idea what they're talking about. Number 20, assume that you are always right and you know everything there is to know about reaching your goals. Instead, take feedback from experts and seek some outside perspective. Often we get so caught up in our everyday life and the hectic nature of that, when really another set of eyes on our plan could bring renewed vigor and a different perspective to what's going on in our progress. Now to finish off, here are the obvious ones. Don't lift weights or move your body. Instead, lift weights and move your body. Don't eat any nutritious whole foods. Instead, eat lots of lean protein, fruits, and veggies and have a well-rounded nutrition plan full of whole foods. Don't go to sleep at night and get way less than seven hours of sleep. Instead, try to get seven plus hours of sleep at night and try to just go to bed. And the last one, number 24, I think I may have forgotten some numbers. Stay stressed and don't work on your stress management. Instead, make sure you're working on your stress management techniques every single day. Okay, so that's 24 things and you may now be feeling overwhelmed. The great thing is though, that you don't need to put into place all of these things to be massively successful with your goals. But if any of these things hit home and created an aha moment, I would encourage you to start right away and take some action. After all, the number one rule is that you start today. And now I'm wishing you the healthiest and happiest version of yourself and I appreciate you making it this far.